<laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> I am Marcus Schultz. I'm here with Emma Hewitt and um, we're celebrating a little bit. By the way, we've got this microphone here because we're up on the balcony and it, without it, you wouldn't be able to hear us so good because of the wind and everything. So I know it's a little weird. Um, so we'll we're just work. gonna, we'll make it work exactly. We'll we'll, uh, yeah, and we'll, so we'll pass the microphone back and forth. But uh, we are here because we're celebrating you guys. Amazing, I'm so, we are so thankful for you guys. Um, Safe From Harm has reached one million views. Um, and that's amazing. Thank so thank you guys so weeks. much. That's incredible. Yeah, actually, it's 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 my Never. fastest video to uh, to a million. So yeah, mine too. Really, so really cool. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you, thank so you guys so much. Um, so you know what? I'll hold them. Uh, I'll let you hold the mic here. But I brought a little something for us. Perfect. Perfect. I'm happy to hold the mic. A champagne. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate with a little bit of champagne yeah. and questions from uh, from everybody out there. I I mean, I think that uh, we'll just hang out with everybody and. Do some questions and as drink. As you like. <laughs> the, the questions should start get or the answers should start getting a little bit more creative as the bottle gets a little less and less. <laughs> All right, so here, hold the microphone, and I'm gonna, Happy I'm gonna pop this. Happy to. All right, are you getting this on camera though? Because yeah, this is a, this is a beautiful thing. It's gonna be a beautiful sound. One of my favorite sounds. <laughs> Other than safe from harm, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope that I don't uh, make a mess here. <laughs> It's perfectly allowed in a celebration. Uh, see? Oh, we've got helicopters in the background. That's our drone. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can All pop right. this without uh, making too much of a mess. Oh, helicopters on mic. <laughs> we have to move the mic out of the way. <laughs> Ready, guys? Three, two, one. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Oops. Well done. Uh, You've done it. <laughs> you didn't waste much that's good wasting alcohol is a it's and a real shame it's a real shame and by the way <laughs> uh we don't have champagne glasses emma we're going from the bottle on the plastic no. glasses. good good uh, good we we're definitely a big step up from glasses. the bottle <laughs> we're good we're not that bad here okay <gasps> this feels like backstage <laughs> so here we go all right let's do it uh uh, <laughs> and sort the microphone. I was about to give you the microphone to pour well, it into. To talk into the yeah, true, true. I've never used one of these before. It's my problem. Right? You've <laughs> never used a microphone yeah. Thank you. I'm new to this. Nicely poured. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys so much, whoever's with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. Massive cheers. Wait, wait. It has to go oh, down. Look at this. There's no down. way I can drink that off. It's like a beer. <laughs> We're a mess here, but it's a beautiful mess. We haven't even mess. started drinking yet, believe it or not. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Cheers, Thank guys. You guys. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Hey. Mm. I think I, I think I brought this home from my rider at one of the festivals or one of the oh, clubs. Good. That's one of the perks, isn't it? Yeah. I love that. Just bring, bring take home the alcohol you don't drink. And I don't yeah. drink very much <laughs> anyway, so... You know, if I brought home all all the alcohol from my rider that I didn't drink, this whole place would be Maybe full. People would really think that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. You have a wine cellar. Uh, thank you to whatever festival that I played at where I, I brought this bottle of champagne home with. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for me too. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> well, the first question is how often bottles did you order and you feel? Ah. Oh yes. By the way, yeah. Adina is holding the uh, the camera. Yes, beautiful Adina. He should never be. She, well, she's amazing behind the camera, but she should always be in front of the camera as well. So, so. <laughs> Emma can take the lead on this because she was actually there. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, it was incredible. We filmed in Bon Air, which, uh, as you know, <laughs> with the beautiful Adina who was directing everything as well with the with the directors from Romania, uh, with Alex. How do you say Alex's surname? Sorry, you pronounce it Alex. K Al yes, yeah, I can't say it. Alex Chaușa. Thank you. He was incredible too. So. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Um, yeah, we were in Bon Air in the Caribbean. It was an incredible place. It was like we had the entire island to ourselves. There was no people around. It was just untouched. And as you can see from the video, the scenery was just amazing. Beautiful. We're blessed to be there. Yeah. I, I actually, okay, so we have to. Like you were there too. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we we got we to gotta let everybody in on the secret. <laughs> I actually wasn't there, guys. <laughs> Adina and Emma and Alex, uh, and uh, they, they just flew down to Bon Air to film this video. I stayed at home. I think I was watching basketball on the couch. <laughs> I think it was something well, important to do. 
I lied. <laughs> I was all laying on the couch. No, but um, um, the footage that you see of me in there was some B-roll footage that we took for another video that we never put out. So uh, we were, and it, it matched perfectly. Um, so yeah, it was kind of cool to you know. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah. You filmed it no, no, no. It, so see, cool. see, see. No, Alex filmed that video too. But uh, it was super cool how it all came together and it looks perfect and. Wow, Bonaire! I, I should I now, after I saw the footage, I wish that I was there. You know, it was absolutely yeah, beautiful. Such a great place. Yeah, and oh, beautiful. so yeah, that's, that's anything we funny of during the video. Been. Like uh, anything funny happen? Like yeah, actually, a couple of oh, things. Oh, well, you got to talk into here. We were well. Adina is kamikaze as well. She is hardcore, everybody. I don't know if anybody knows how hardcore this girl is, but we we're climbing up onto an old wrecked ship and I was like a scared, like, a scared little, I'm like, I'm not going up there. And Adina's like, all right, get up here. And she made me, so it was great. It felt like we were going to fall through, but we were trespassing on this, <laughs> this beautiful, as you can see, the pink water and the white sands and everything. We kind of broke into the desalinization plant to film those, you know, the amazing scenery there. But I think afterwards we realized that maybe we could have been shot for trespassing in Bonaire, I'm not sure, or locked up or something. So, yeah, but thankfully we were safe and we got the footage. So, it's all good. <laughs> I actually, um, you know what that is, right? The foam. Like uh, many people there, was it toxic? That, <laughs> I was Ma that many people <laughs> thought that it was like snow. Like, oh my God, they have snow and like, you know, and a beach in the same place. Yeah. And it, so it wasn't snow, it was foam. Mm. And from what someone told me, it was foam from fish eggs. Did oh you know God, that? You're kidding. No, really? I'm not kidding. Wow. Oh, that's, well, so the, water was, the water was so salty though. I don't know how any fish eggs could have survived in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually like burning my skin. But yeah, I don't know, yeah, maybe. So I mean, covered in caviar. <laughs> <laughs> caviar. Luxury, luxury foam. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, that's good. Any upcoming tracks together? Upcoming tracks uh, together. Emma, uh, well, would you like to do another track together? I would love to do another track together. Would I would absolutely love to. So we were kind of think almost discussing yeah. this yesterday, weren't yeah, we? we? So were. let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We have a, a, every good uh, movie deserves a sequel. This is true. This is true. And we love working together. Well, yeah. I love working with you guys. I can't speak for you, I guess. But, <laughs> she's, <laughs> but <laughs> she's amazing to work with. Don't worry. Super fun. Yeah. Super great. We you know, it. and that's the thing is like the many people in the, it, you know, that we know, um, you know, you, ha you have to click. You have to like have a really good chemistry when you're working together with people um, yeah. or else it just, it doesn't feel organic. And I think that's the beautiful thing. Um, with when we work together, when we're doing shows together, you know, all of us, uh, your team, my team, Adina, you, you know, we're all, not only are, are we, we click together when we work together, but we're all friends when the camera's off, when the, yeah. when the microphone is off. We're all friends and having a good time. I mean, I, I think we've... It makes such a difference. I've been, really we, I think we've been to more parties uh, together um, without working than we have working it's together, true. right? It's true, yeah. It's got, gotten to yeah. that point, so... <laughs> How did we? I think we we talked about working together, didn't we? And I think it was a little idea. Oops, sorry, talking into my wine glass. <laughs> it happens. Wine glass with champagne. In. Start drinking out of the microphone. Um, so we were talking about doing the idea, and I think I just came up with a little kind of piano. Um, sorry, a melody over a piano line that I sent through to see if you guys liked, and mm -hmm. and then yeah, Marcus got back to me with this amazing idea for the track and the music. And actually, I must interject because. The first time, I, I don't know, if, I, of course you're going to remember, but the first time um, we did the, uh, the Eclipse oh, cruise yes. together, right? right. So yes. we did, uh, <laughs> she sent me the track <laughs> and the vocals, and we were playing uh, this uh, on that, I don't know if you guys follow us, uh, hopefully you follow us on social media. If you don't, start following us on social media, but we were, um, it was on the Snapchat and everything. We were at, on this boat um, during the Eclipse, and Emma was performing on the boat, and I was uh, playing on the boat. And so before the show, literally in one of the rooms downstairs, I took the file that Emma sent me, and I did some orchestration to it and everything. In like 10 minutes, he makes an insane. Well, it was a little longer than 10 <laughs> minutes, but... <laughs> that was crazy. But so I made some orchestration and uh, presented it to her, and she sang, it, she sang on it live right then and there. And uh, it was... Awesome a awesome way to... to it was super cool, right? <laughs> Because, you know, it was, it was a, an eclipse, 
And then the lyrics are, don't just stand there in the dark. Yes. And it like it fit perfect. So that was the first time, that was before we really started like getting into the production of it. It was just kind of like, take what you did, add some orchestration to it, and let you sing. That was incredible. But as soon as you added the orchestration, it just brought it to life, and it just sounded like this big moving kind of piece, which, yeah, so I was just in love with it right away. Ah, wow, okay. that's... Sure, sure. Well, I think because well, people like ourselves that are always traveling so much and always leaving behind our loved ones, you know, um, you guys are probably the exception to the rule that you get to travel together a lot. But I find a lot of us artists, we're always leaving our, you know, our families and we miss everybody's birthdays and everything else. And so it was kind of just an ode to that with the lyrics. Um, the people that I love to know that I'm always thinking of them and they're always in my heart and they're always in my memory uh, and my mind, no matter where I am, even if I'm not there for all of those special moments. So... So you're there in spirit, you know? Oh, <laughs> cheers. cheers. <Great. laughs> you know, I, I love lyrical concepts about things that are relatable to us, to our fans, you know, to our lifestyle. Like, you know, we, we're touring all the time. Yeah. And the fans are at our events. And I like songs that have lyrics um, that kind of, they make, they're relevant to us, you know? I've always, when I'm working with other uh, singers and songwriters, I'm like, please don't write me a love song about like a boy and a girl and something that we can't relate to. Yeah. It's like, I want to write lyrics and I will like to play lyrics in, in the shows. And I'm sure you do too in your shows, like to sing lyrics that actually like make sense to the people in the room. Definitely, you know? definitely. And I also really love, it's like taking that a step further too, I really love lyrics that can be slightly ambiguous so that you could, even though they might mean something to me, somebody else could adapt them to their situation or whatever. I like, I love songs like that that you can, that you can kind of change them to suit your situation all the time that you're at in your life. So it can yeah. be more relatable. Happy birthday, Jeff. Happy birthday, Jeff. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, yes. Somebody's birthday if you guys like steak. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm not vegan yet. I'd like to go vegan, but I, I like to eat too much. I'll I'll, I'll <laughs> tell you. Uh, I actually, I ha Adina and I have steak night once a week because I was on tour, and I started feeling really bad. Like mm -hmm. I didn't feel good. And then I told Adina, I said, when we get home, we need to go to. I want to go to the doctor. I want to go get you know checked out to see because I don't feel so well. And Adina said, let's go. Uh, I have an idea. And we went, we had a steak and a Coca-Cola. And I never drink Coca-Cola, mm. never. I never drink pop or sodas, anything like that. And I had a steak and Coca-Cola, and I felt like Superman. Wow. And I so found out that, yeah, I found out I, I have like an iron deficiency. So once a week, right. I, we have steak night. Yeah, and, uh, awesome. you know, before that, I used to eat a lo mostly fish, every now and then chicken, but a lot of seafood. And now it's like I, I have to have steak once a, once a week. Is good, I think when you're touring all the time as well, you do need to keep the nutrients up like that. Because I, I got anemic as well when I was living off pasta and stuff touring. <laughs> 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 Room service, just pasta and whatever. And, you know, some places where it's not too safe to eat some of the food. Yeah. So. No, this is true. When you're in some cities where you don't trust the food, you, you go to, like, processed pasta yeah. or club okay. sandwich. Yeah, like <laughs> Deep fry yeah. it and, 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 uh, and put it in some <laughs> pasta and, and it will be okay. Exactly. Um, oh. Hey, no, you know what? I've just moved Jeff to Miami. Oh. She's our <laughs> neighbor. She's our new neighbor. <laughs> Hi, friendly neighbor. Um, <laughs> yes, I just moved. I'm moving today. I'm in the process of moving today, literally. So, That's awesome. yeah, I'm so excited. Who who could wish for a better place to live than this? So, Australia is great too. I love it, but it's too far. They need to move it closer. So I think there's a, a a song called "Welcome to Miami." There is, yes. <laughs> Are you going to sing it for me? Mm, I just know, uh, welcome to Miami and bienvenido. Bienvenido, Miami, 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 yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Here you go, because you're going to have much more to say than me. Oh, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> no, you're going to have much more to say. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of this one. I'm not working on anything. <laughs> I'm just I'm just enjoying some champagne and Miami and, no. Um, so I'm working on a new album. Uh, hopefully September is the, the, uh, the release date it's called we are the light and um yeah you'll start hearing uh, some of the tracks from it obviously um safe from harm uh, there's another track with jess um called calling for love that's going to be on the album um you're going to hear start hearing a few as a matter of fact 
should I say it? At EDC, I'm going to play one of the tracks from it as my uh, grand finale, so it's going to be a pretty special moment. But September, new album, We Are The Light. And as you just heard here, I think that uh, Emma and I need to have a second track on this album. So uh, we're going we're gonna to get to work. Uh, right after that we finish this bottle of champagne, we're going to start writing. <laughs> We, we're gonna be live till the bottle of champagne's empty. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll be live. After <laughs> it doesn't have room to go. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to you. <laughs> we'll we'll go back live again. But uh, no, we're we're really uh, uh, well. To be honest with you, uh, we're the phone. I don't even know if it has enough batteries unless we really power through that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. What? Our, what's our fa What's your favorite wine? I know mine. Um, my favorite wine usually is like our New Zealand kind of uh, Sav Blanc, but. Oh, Pinot Grigio. All of the wines, though, really. All of them. I can't discriminate. <laughs> My favorite is um, we were in Ibiza, and me, Ferry, um, I, don't, I don't even remember. See, that's how good the wine was. I don't remember who was all there. Brandon was there um, from Red Light. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, it's called Marquez de Riscal, and we had this wine, and I think we went through like six bottles that night, and I absolutely love it. And we took a case of it home here to Miami, and then uh, probably about six months ago, I'm in the supermarket, and I see Marquez de Riscal. Somebody here in Miami started importing it oh, into yeah. uh, Miami. So you can actually find it in one of the stores, Marquez de Riscal, oh. Spanish wine. I'm going to check it. What? <laughs> Adina's like, <laughs> I don't know if she's <laughs> telling me stop talking so much or keep talking. I don't know what she's doing. What was that, Adina? That was like, <laughs> oh, we have to wrap up soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you guys. Once again, thank you so much for, uh, for all the support. And, um, I mean, we don't have to wrap up now, do we? Four minutes. We got four minutes. Yeah. Well, we got, we got half a bottle of champagne left. Can we do it in four minutes? <laughs> well, yeah, I know we can, but is it appropriate that we do that? <laughs> Probably not. We're not to that time of the night yet. The sun's just starting to come down. Mm. At typical oh, Miami chaos. style, uh, it's chaos over there, clouds and everything, because over there is where the Everglades is. And then behind us is the ocean, and it's crystal clear. So that's typical in Miami. I've been noticing that, the storm clouds on one side, so that's why. Yeah, get used to it. It's because the Everglades, the swamp, is over there, oh. and all the evaporation, you know, that stu science stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening over there. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Science is happening there. Bikinis <laughs> is happening over there. <laughs> Here, hold the microphone for a little bit. I'm going to sure. top you off. Thank you. I have a feeling you've been drinking like, faster than I have. Well, yeah. <laughs> it was and the I album question. I think about Vancouver. Oh, yes, yes. I'm super excited for Vancouver at yeah, Celebrities yeah. coming up with Orjan Nielsen. That's a bit of a promo. Yeah, what, else got, what else you got coming up? Talk about like some shows. Yeah, okay, that's on the spot because I haven't like, memorized the dates. I know. <laughs> I need my calendar in front of me, but I know that I'm going it to be. Matter if it's in order. Just Van Vancouver, up. Toronto. Uh, so where in Toronto? Where? <laughs> 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 Toronto. <laughs> in the city. Uh, yeah, Montreal for yeah for the AIM Festival coming up as well. That would be super cool. And oh, San Francisco, that's the next right. one on May 27th. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> so, yes, you San Francisco. That one, that one I do because that suits San Francisco, San Francisco is going to be. The city and the date so well. That's going to be a really good lineup, actually, because it's uh, Marlo and Andrew Real and uh, Ruben Durand and, and heaps of other cool people in the lineup. So. Yeah, but why do you remember that date? Oh, I guess I just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, yes. I don't yes. remember dates uh, yes, so but clearly I'm gonna... like you just did, unless there's something happening. Like there is, but I'm gonna party. I'm gonna tell you off screen. <laughs> yes. So that's that's it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me that story off camera. Yeah, I will. I will. It's a bit of a crazy one. Okay. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, keep uh, you know share the video first of all. Let's see. Maybe we'll do another one. We'll do another one of these before, but um, at two million, we have to do another one. We will, yes. Maybe at each million, we'll do a we'll do another one. <laughs> and so well, I got to bring another sh bottle of champagne home. So maybe from EDC. EDC yeah. I'll save one from EDC. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> extra bottle of champagne. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure you follow Emma on her social media. Um, Snapchat. Are you still doing Snapchat? No, I'm not. 
it's yeah, it's my tired, right? So it's yeah. Tired. <laughs> so we do face, uh, Facebook, Instagram, yeah, Instagram, so. Facebook. Um, make sure you check out her, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Uh, of course, my Instagram, my Facebook, um, Ford's, Marcus Schultz Ford slash tour dates for tours. You have some place like that is on your Facebook? It's all on my Facebook, which is yeah. Emma Hewitt Official. Um, Emma Hewitt Official. Yeah. And thank you guys so much. You guys. We love you guys. Love you guys. And uh, see you soon. See you soon. Cheers.